What a pity. If this was nearly a year ago, this would have been an incomparably terrifying move for me. However, now... Skyfire Fist! Maximus gently waved his fist. The Skyfire Fist had already reached the late stage of the 12th level. It was a true, heavenly rank, top-quality martial arts skill that was comparable to a top. With Maximus's current grade of an early 11-star internal strength base, even without fusing the milky white flame, the power of this punch was enough to reach the late stage of an ordinary 12-star heavenly rank, or perhaps even the peak. When the flame was unleashed, it carried a fierce temperature. This temperature was enough to burn even the lightning. The six rays of lightning collided with the huge flaming fist. The flames and lightning merged together like a small storm and swept out. In the next moment, the huge flaming fist broke through the storm and continued to attack Gordon. Gordon's expression showed his shock, and he quickly retreated. At the same time, a terrifying lightning energy wrapped around his right fist. Chaotic light rumbling fist! Vaguely, it was as if a giant beast's roar had erupted from Gordon's right fist. Immediately after, Gordon threw a punch at the huge flaming fist. With a loud rumble, circles of energy spread out rapidly like ripples and exploded in all directions with a loud bang. The surrounding rocks, trees, and buildings collapsed at that moment. Gordon retreated over a hundred steps in succession before he could barely stop himself from retreating. His face was dark. He looked at Maximus with a strong fear in his eyes. Looking at Maximus's 11-star internal strength base, Gordon had thought that Maximus was only advancing quickly in the internal strength base, but not in the martial arts skill. The martial arts skills, especially the profound martial arts skills, required a long time to comprehend and then grasp through battle. In less than a year's time, it was difficult to break through to the late stage and peak stage. Gordon thought that Maximus hadn't had the time to cultivate the profound martial arts skill, let alone master it perfectly. But now, Maximus's punch had completely shattered what Gordon thought was true. It was just a punch, but he needed to use two punches to barely block it, and he could even take a few hundred steps back. On the other hand, Maximus stood where he was, as steady as a mountain. The intense fluctuations of energy caused some of the martial artists nearby to instantly sense it. They began talking amongst themselves. This energy fluctuation is definitely at the peak heavenly rank level. An expert on the holy list? Who exactly is it? One of the auras is so familiar. It seems to be Gordon. Who's the other person? One figure after another rushed toward the place where Maximus and Gordon were fighting. Most of the martial artists in the vicinity were immediately heavenly rank elites. There were also some first-rated, late heavenly rank experts in the inner court. In just a few breaths of time, a group of experts had arrived. It really is Gordon. The other person is... The other person was... Maximus! An intermediate heavenly rank elite recognized Maximus and immediately shouted. The rest of the experts were in an uproar. All of them were experts with good eyesight. Through some traces, how could they not tell that Gordon and Maximus had fallen into a disadvantageous position? Maximus. A year ago, he had only been an intermediate heavenly rank. But now, Gordon was at a disadvantage? Gordon was currently ranked 30th on the holy list. Or could it be that Gordon had been careless? Maybe he didn't use his full strength. But no matter what, even if Gordon was careless... Maximus's ability to make Gordon suffer was not to be underestimated. Most of the people who came were intermediate heavenly rank elites. Even those who were at the top of the late heavenly rank were around seven star. Due to the huge gap between them and Maximus, they could only sense that Maximus was unfathomable. However, it was impossible for them to sense the exact level of his internal strength base. In the eyes of all the experts, Maximus was probably at the peak nine star. The gap between the late and the peak was the last difficult gap between the heavenly rank and the holy realm. After that was the bottleneck to break through to the holy realm. After breaking through to the 10 star, the bottleneck of breaking through to the 12 star from 11 star couldn't be compared to this gap. Even though Maximus had set all kinds of unbelievable records a year ago, none of the experts believed that he could easily break through this bottleneck. Even Julie... Didn't the evolution of her bloodline cause the internal strength base to soar? It couldn't be that Maximus also has some kind of bloodline in his body. 
But in the next moment, Maximus suddenly erupted with an incomparable shocking aura. Under this aura, they were actually suppressed to the point where they couldn't breathe. Peak of the heavenly rank. It was definitely a peak of the heavenly rank. Maximus' spiritual force far surpassed these powerhouses, so it was impossible for them to use their spiritual force to sense his internal strength base. But if he took the initiative to unleash his own aura, then it would be completely different. Holy crap! It's actually an early 11-star heavenly rank! How? How is this possible? A year ago, this guy was only an intermediate heavenly rank, but in such a short period of time, he has already reached such a high level! No wonder Gordon was forced into a disadvantageous position. Eleven star heavenly rank is even more powerful than Gordon's peak ten star. Gordon is going to lose this time. That's right. Who would have thought that Maximus would improve so much in such a short period of time? Who said that? Gordon's alien lightning is at the top, and it has reached its peak. It is only a step away from the holy lightning. It's only the gap between an early eleven star and a peak ten star. The alien lightning alone is enough to make up for it. Maximus's combat strength has far exceeded the internal strength base a year ago. It must be the same now. It's impossible for Gordon to win. No way! Maximus is now 11 star? How could he have improved so much? The one who wins must be Gordon. While the group of experts were amazed by Maximus's rapid progression, they were also discussing who would win between Maximus and Gordon. Some were partial to Maximus, while others were biased towards Gordon. Maximus and Gordon naturally saw the arrival of these people, but Gordon didn't dare to divert his attention. Instead, he kept staring at Maximus, afraid that Maximus would launch a sneak attack. Maximus still had a nonchalant expression on his face. If you don't attack, then get out of the way. I don't have that much time to waste with you. Maximus was getting impatient when he saw that Gordon didn't attack for a long time. Gordon's facial expression changed. The only thing I can do now is to use this. True lightning flash! Suddenly, his entire body was wrapped in red lightning. Dense red lightning flashed with a blood red luster. The moment the real lightning appeared, Gordon's aura suddenly changed. It was filled with brutality. Alien lightning? This Gordon is indeed worthy of being one of the top geniuses in the inner domain of the Northern University. He is only at a 10-star internal strength base, but the strange lightning has already reached such a level, Maximus said internally. Chaotic, light, rumbling fist! True lightning merged into the red lightning. Red lightning surged out and threw a punch. Gordon had a confident look on his face. The chaotic, light, rumbling fist was originally a top heavenly rank, top quality martial arts skill, and the chaotic, light, rumbling fist was the limit of top alien lightning. When it was integrated, the power of the fist had long surpassed that of a heavenly rank. It could be said that the power that Gordon unleashed at that moment had already surpassed that of a heavenly rank. As an expert on the holy list, he basically had the strength to surpass an ordinary heavenly rank when he unleashed his most powerful attack. It's true that he's strong, but to me, he can't even withstand a single blow. Maximus smiled faintly and unleashed the Skyfire armor. In the next moment, the Skyfire Fist met the chaotic light rumbling fist. A deafening explosion and violent energy instantly surged into the sky. Fire and blood red lightning wreaked havoc like a hurricane. Many of the experts who had rushed over to watch the battle were slightly weaker. They were directly sent flying and heavily fell to the ground, spitting out blood. This scene caused shock in the experts who were still struggling to resist. They hurriedly retreated. As expected of Gordon, as expected of the expert on the holy list. That's right, and this Maximus isn't simple either. He didn't even fall when facing a mighty warrior of the holy list. Before this person could finish his words, he was instantly shocked. He saw a huge flaming fist. After colliding violently with the blood red lightning fist, it actually destroyed the blood red lightning fist and rushed toward Gordon. In the blink of an eye, it struck Gordon's chest. Gordon spat out blood like a spray. His body was like a kite with a broken string. He was sent flying and landed heavily on the ground without moving. With just one strike, Gordon suffered a serious injury. The group of inner court students were not weak. They could clearly sense that not only was Gordon's aura weak, he had even passed out. When they looked at Maximus again, the gazes of these students were completely different. 
Previously, they hadn't thought that Maximus was a freak who could match Julie. But according to the current situation, it seemed that even if he was weak, he wouldn't be weak at all. So, so perverted. How did this kid cultivate? Under the dumbfounded gazes of the crowd, Maximus left the place. He still intended to leave Gordon's life to Royce. With Royce's talent and the help of the Heavenly Pavilion sword, it was only a matter of time before he surpassed Gordon. His thoughts were racing. As I thought, my current strength is no longer the same as before. My internal strength base has already reached the peak of the 12th level of the Skyfire armor, and it's comparable to an ordinary 12-star heavenly rank. With the help of the late 12th level of the Skyfire fist, my current strength is far beyond the heavenly rank. If I combine the milky white flame with my current strength, its power will be even more terrifying. If I combine the blue special flame with my current strength... Maximus narrowed his eyes slightly. Very quickly, he returned to his residence in the inner courtyard house. At the same time, the news of Maximus defeating Gordon with a single punch had already spread throughout the inner court. After a year, the topic of Maximus had once again aroused a wave of attention within the inner court of Northern University. This was unlike a year ago, when most of the people who paid attention to Maximus were intermediate heavenly rank elites, and there were only a few first-rated late heavenly rank warriors. This time, the people who paid attention to Maximus were not only the experts on the holy list, but also the semi-holy rank. Many of them had finally placed their attention on Maximus. Within the courtyard house, Maximus pointed at Ray. After a year, with the resources that Maximus had given him, Ray wasn't too far away from the Earth rank. A servant like Ray, in the eyes of the students, had terrible talent, but in a weak empire, it wasn't too bad. For example, with sufficient resources and guidance, Ray might be able to break through to the heavenly rank in the future. This was much better than the students who had suffered a major blow in the outer court and had completely lost their motivation. From this, it could be seen that although one's talent was greatly affected in the pre-celestial realm, the achievements one could achieve in the future depended on one's own efforts. After a year, not only had Ray's strength improved greatly, but he had also accumulated a lot of questions. Maximus wanted to give Ray guidance, so Ray naturally asked more questions. Half a day later, Ray's doubts were mostly solved. The questions that he had been confused about were now clear. He felt that he was able to break through again as long as he was able to digest these answers. All right, you've already asked some questions you wanted to ask. I'm going to cultivate in seclusion for a period of time. If someone comes looking for me during this period of time, I don't think it is important to reject them. After Maximus gave him some guidance, he instructed. Okay, Ray bowed and left. Inside the room, Maximus's figure flashed and arrived inside the Nine Flames Fire Tower. He circulated the Nine Flames fire formula and continuously condensed the true essence within his body, trying his best to remove the hidden dangers. At the same time, he refined some top-quality spirit stone elixirs and sent them to the hot springs. After that, Maximus jumped into the spirit spring to wash his body. The spirit spring had the effect of dispelling the negative effects. Maximus didn't know if it would be effective on the hidden dangers of the internal strength base. Very quickly... The facts proved that the spirit spring was effective. Under the nourishment of the spirit spring, Maximus could clearly feel the stability of the true essence in his body, and it was not as superficial as before. His body was currently at the limit of the first grade top quality, and the supreme holy flame body he cultivated was comparable to the holy level. The effect of the nine flames fire formula wasn't any weaker than the lowest grade holy realm skill, the internal strength method. With the help of the spirit spring, soon, Maximus felt that the hidden danger on the internal strength base had been completely removed. Now, it was time to break through to a higher level. Right at that moment, Ray came over to report that there were a few people who wanted to see him. He had clearly warned them before, but they still came to report. This meant that the few people who came this time were probably acquaintances. Thinking that there was already another inner court exam, Maximus had a guess in his heart. The result was as expected. The people who came were Rachel, Ty, and June. I had long guessed that the three of you would enter the academy during this year's inner court exam. Maximus smiled as he looked at the three of them. Ty looked a little sour. 
If you don't enter the inner court, we really don't know about the commotion you caused in the inner court. We originally thought that the competition nearly a year ago was already abnormal. But this time, you actually defeated Gordon, 30th on the holy list. You are as heaven-defying as Julie. Maximus chuckled and immediately changed the topic. If he continued to speak, Ty would definitely say something worse. He coughed and said, Come on, Ty, you're not bad either. You're now an early three-star heavenly rank. June was also an early three-star heavenly rank. As for Rachel, she had actually reached the peak three-star heavenly rank. The three of them had almost entered the inner courtyard house. It had been nearly half a year. Reaching such an internal strength base in nearly half a year was an extremely sensational result in the past years. Unfortunately, with Julie and Maximus in front, it was not enough to look at. Speaking of his own internal strength base, Ty began to show off. After showing off for a while, some of Ty's soreness completely disappeared. Maximus hurriedly asked, How are Royce and the others? June chuckled. Don't worry. When the three of us left the outer domain, the internal strength base of these few people had already reached the peak Earth rank, especially that guy called Christian. He had even reached 12 star. It won't take long before the next inner court exam begins. This fellow could enter the inner court directly. The others, including Elias, he should be able to enter the inner court during this year's examination. Actually, with their rankings on the holy list, they should be able to pass the examination and enter the inner courtyard house. It's just that Bayou knows the danger of the inner courtyard house. I suggest that they break through to the heavenly rank and enter the inner courtyard house, or at least reach the 12 star earth rank before entering the inner courtyard house. That's why they were delayed. However, Theo and Bart, who came from the same place as you, they won't be able to do it. I estimate that they'll have to stay in the inner courtyard house for another year or two. Maximus nodded. With their talent, that's normal. Finally, Rachel spoke. All right, the three of us came to see you. Since you're still cultivating, we will not disturb you. Rachel expressed her intention to leave. Ty and June also said, Yeah, I heard that there are many experts on the holy list who aren't convinced and want to challenge you. You should first raise the internal strength base a little before going out. On the holy list, there are a lot of 11-star heavenly rank experts, including some who are at the peak 11-star, and even some who are at the 12-star. Challenging me? Maximus raised his eyebrows. That's right. I wonder which brat said that. You have the ability to challenge the number one genius on the holy list. This is the reason why many experts below Julie aren't convinced. Maximus's eyes turned cold. It seems like Gordon hasn't had enough of the lesson. If it wasn't for the fact that he still wants to leave his life to Royce, and the inner courtyard house doesn't allow killing, I would have killed him long ago. Isn't this simple? Why don't we just enter the ethereal space? Ty said casually. Maximus rolled his eyes and answered, Gordon has already been defeated by me once. Do you think you'd be stupid enough to agree to enter the ethereal space, even though he knew he was going to die? Rachel said, then what should we do? This Gordon is just like his younger brother. He was really detestable. Gordon's younger brother, Devin, had already been killed by Royce. Maximus smiled and said, It's fine. As long as he's not a strong person on the semi-holy rank, I can handle him. The three of them took a deep breath of surprise, but they also had some understanding of Maximus. They knew he wasn't someone who lied or made a big deal out of nothing. June smiled wryly and said, I didn't expect you to have reached such a stage. I thought you weren't much stronger than us, but now it seems like I am wrong. Since you're so confident, we don't have to worry about you anymore. Let's go. After the three of them left, Maximus called Ray over and said, Zane hasn't returned yet? Ray nodded. Yes, Brother Adler hasn't returned yet. Having said that, he hesitated before saying, I heard many people say that he is most likely dead. His servant, Little Eight, has already left with someone else. Maximus quickly replied, Zane, that fellow won't die so easily. I believe this point very much. Little Eight, that fellow. Maximus showed a trace of a cold smile as he continued. Sooner or later, he will regret it. Ray, you can go down first. I will continue to cultivate in seclusion. Now that the hidden danger had been removed and his internal strength base had completely stabilized at the early 11 star, it was time to consume the top quality pure essence fruit. 
With Maximus's current talent and the Supreme Holy Flame Body, as well as the Nine Flames formula, the efficiency of absorbing and refining the Pure Essence Fruit was far greater than before. Even if it was a top-quality Pure Essence Fruit, he should be able to absorb it and refine it within a month to 20 days, and it wouldn't delay his trip to the Secret Spirit Realm. If this had been before the Nine Flames Fire formula broke through and his body was still a normal body, it would take him over one and a half months to fully absorb and refine the energy within the top quality pure essence fruit. But now, Maximus poured the fire attribute true essence into the pure essence fruit, and after a moment, the non-elemental pure essence fruit turned into a fire attribute. An extremely rich and pure fire energy spread out. Maximus flashed into the Nine Flames Fire Tower. He spent half a day to refine it into an elixir and began to absorb it. A rich energy circulated within Maximus' body. Every time it passed through his energy center, some of the energy would be refined into his own true essence. As time passed, Maximus' internal strength base was also steadily increasing. The limit of early 11 star. Intermediate 11 star. Late 11 star. When the internal strength brace broke through to the peak of 11 star, there wasn't much energy left. Maximus didn't waste any of this energy, but continued his advancement. He only opened his eyes after the top quality pure essence fruits elixir was completely absorbed. A silver white flame shot out from his eyes. A sizzling sound was heard in the air. He was at the middle of peak 11 star, but unfortunately, he was still quite a distance from the peak limit of 11 star. If one were to classify the peak stages into the initial stage, the middle stage, the upper stage, and the limit, Maximus was currently only at the middle stage. He smiled slightly. Although he hadn't reached the limit, the blue-green spirit fruit was about to mature. At that time, he would definitely be able to reach the limit. The top quality pure essence fruit had already been duplicated. It wouldn't take more than half a year for it to mature. Unfortunately, he was already a peak heavenly rank now. If he wanted to break through to the holy realm, the top quality pure essence fruit wouldn't be of much use. At most, it would make his true essence more solid, and it might even transform into a saint origin and become a semi-holy. He told himself, right now, I should stabilize my internal strength base. Breaking through to the peak 11 star took Maximus 18 days. Stabilizing the peak of 11 star took Maximus another two days. It had been 22 days since Maximus returned to Northern University. It was time for the opening of the secret spirit realm in just a little more than a month. The internal strength base has broken through from the peak 10 star to the peak 11 star, and its strength has increased by an entire star level. It's time for me to continue cultivating the Holy Realm's secret art. Maximus had relied on the ratio of 1 to 100 to enter the House of Time. In just two days, he had withdrawn 200 days from the House of Time. Adding the celestial effect of the House of Time, Maximus had cultivated more than 400 days of Holy Realm secret art, which was equivalent to a genius with a pretty good comprehension who had cultivated a Holy Realm secret art for more than a year. Maximus let out a long sigh. As expected of a Holy Realm ultimate skill, the further one cultivates, the more difficult it becomes. The internal strength base has increased by an entire star level, and the flowing flame soaring dragon cover of a low, lower level Holy Realm is only close to 30%. The arm of the sovereign flame of a lower level medium grade is only a little more than 15%. It seemed like only when his internal strength base had reached the 12-star heavenly rank realm would his mastery of the flowing flame soaring dragon cover exceed 30%, and his mastery of the arm of the sovereign flame would be infinitely close to 20%. After checking the condition of the blue-green spirit fruit, he found that it had matured. Maximus immediately put the matter of the holy realm skill aside and kept the blue-green spirit fruit. At the same time, he injected a lot of energy into the top quality spirit stone elixir and started to plant and duplicate the top quality pure essence fruit. Maximus threw the spirit fruits into the melting pot one by one and refined it into an elixir. He didn't use the spirit fruit to cultivate immediately, but used it on the four great inherited martial arts. After using up more than half of the inherited martial arts skills, the four great inherited martial arts skills had already broken through to the peak of the 12th level. 
After that, he would break through to another major realm. He thought, I still have nearly half of it left. I wonder what kind of internal strength base it will allow me to advance to. A day later, Maximus walked out of his room in high spirits. Currently, his internal strength base had truly reached the peak of 11 star. However, he was still a distance away from reaching 12 star. He told himself he'd have to rely on the Scarlet Flame Cavern for this distance. If he could touch the bottleneck before he left, he'd be able to reach it. It would be best if he could break through to the 12 star smoothly once he had the opportunity in the secret spirit realm. Of course, it would be even better if he could break through in the sacred flame cavern. Master, what are you? Ray asked curiously. He answered lightly. Ray, keep an eye on this place. This time, I'm going to the Scarlet Flame Cavern to cultivate. After cultivating, I'll leave the academy directly. When I return, it'll be another two or three months. He was about to leave. But Ray suddenly said, Sir, can you not go out? My lord, can you not go out? Ray's voice was full of hesitation and uneasiness, apparently afraid that Maximus would blame him. Maximus frowned and turned his head, staring at Ray. Ray felt an invisible pressure pressing down on him, causing him to be shocked. Why? Maximus knew that something bad must have happened outside, because otherwise, Ray would never do this. There was still some hesitation on Ray's face. He finally gritted his teeth and said, Sir, half a month ago, rumors began to spread in the inner court that you had pursued Miss Julie. Moreover, it spread wildly. There were even people who stood out to prove that they had seen Miss Julie stay together with you. The seventh rank on the semi-holy rank, Lion King, was also Miss Julie's admirer and threatened to teach you a lesson. Sir, there is nothing wrong with you staying here, but if you leave here, Lion King will definitely not let you off easily. Lion King? Maximus's face darkened. Lion King was ranked seventh among the nine experts on the semi-holy ranking. It was said that 10% of the true essence in his body had already transformed into a saint origin. Although it was only 10%, Lion King still possessed the bloodline of the sacred emperor, the Flame Lion. When he used such a bloodline, his strength could be said to have soared. Furthermore, because of his bloodline, he had grasped the martial arts skill with a bloodline inheritance. At Lion King's level, the martial arts skill with the bloodline inheritance might not be able to compare with a holy realm skill, but it was still far from being comparable to a heavenly rank skill. In other words, even without 10% of the saint origin, Lion King would still have the ability to fight against an ordinary semi-holy warrior. With another 10% of the saint origin, his overall combat strength would skyrocket. Compared to the 10% saint origin and semi-holy warrior outside, Lion King could totally kill the former in an instant. Such a powerful expert, actually. Maximus let out a cold snort. The one who spread this rumor must have been Gordon. A trace of coldness flashed across Maximus's eyes. Since this fellow is courting death, I don't need to leave his life to Royce. It's just that I can't make a move in the inner courtyard house of the Northern University. If Gordon leaves the Northern University one day... A cold killing intent spread out. Ray immediately trembled violently. Seeing Ray's terror, Maximus immediately withdrew his coldness and killing intent in his body. He said gently, Thank you for your concern, Ray. But don't worry. My strength has also improved. A mere 10% saint origin of a semi-holy expert isn't enough to make me feel afraid. Ray looked at Maximus in pleasant surprise. Maximus just smiled without saying anything more. After leaving the courtyard house, Maximus ran toward the Scarlet Flame Cavern. With his current strength, he could definitely cultivate in another level of the Lava Zone. Furthermore, with his current realm, he could only have a more obvious breakthrough in the Level 1 Lava Zone. After Maximus left, the people hiding in the dark immediately sent messages to their respective masters. In a moment, those who didn't like Maximus those who wanted to provoke him because of rumors, or those who were hostile toward him because of Julie, all ran toward the Scarlet Flame Cavern at the same time. The calm inner courtyard house of Northern University was about to stir up another wave. Within Elder Abdul's palace, Serafina looked strangely at Julie, who had yet to move. Girl, can you not go and help now? 
It was fine for those who were in the top 10 of the holy list, but the top few were not people to be trifled with. Furthermore, there's also Lion King, ranked seventh on the semi-holy rank. If he isn't careful, that kid will be seriously injured. It's not impossible. In the face of Seraphina's inquiry, Julie only said lightly, a mere Lion King isn't qualified. Seraphina was surprised. She said, you think too highly of that brat. That's Lion King we're talking about. Julie smiled without saying anything. Just like how Maximus understood Julie, he knew that Julie's strength was definitely not only at the holy list level, but also had the ability to fight against a semi-holy. Julie also understood Maximus. She knew that with Maximus's personality, if he wasn't confident, he wouldn't have openly gone to the Scarlet Flame Cavern. He wouldn't avoid people at all. If he didn't avoid people, it meant that he had the confidence to defeat Lion King. Serafina rolled her eyes. Whatever, since you said so, I'll see to what extent this kid's ability has grown. But if he really is as strong as you said, it's also a good thing. A month from now, we'll have a more advantageous helper in the secret spirit realm. As she spoke, Serafina raised her hand and a mirror that flickered with silver light floated in the air. Throughout the mirror, one could see a large figure inside. What is this? Julie's curiosity was aroused. This is a special spiritual tool, Thousand Mile Mirror. The Thousand Mile Mirror is divided into a mother mirror and a child mirror. Through the mother mirror, you can see anything reflected in the child mirror. Right now, the child mirror is in Blaze's hands. I've already instructed him to go and help. If Maximus's strength isn't enough, then with Blaze's help, he'll be able to solve some problems. But judging from your words, it seems like there's no need for Blaze to help us, Serafina explained. Scarlet Flame Cavern. Before they arrived at the entrance, Maximus found a familiar face, Flame King Blaze. When Blaze saw Maximus, he strode over and asked, Kid, do you know how many people are watching you? Why are you coming out so openly? Aren't you afraid that something will go wrong? Big Brother Blaze, why did you... Blaze cut him off, saying, Of course, I'm here to help you. This is what Serafina entrusted me with. I can't let her down. When Blaze mentioned Serafina, he blushed again. Maximus shivered. He was obviously a big and sturdy man, but he insisted on acting like a little girl. A voice rang out, saying, Blaze, I've long heard that you have a good relationship with this child, as expected. A cold snort came from afar. Then a man in a brown warrior uniform appeared in front of Maximus and Flame King in a few blinks. This man was missing one ear, and his face was filled with a murderous aura. Marshal King! Blaze immediately withdrew his sappy attitude and stared coldly at the man. The man could vaguely see the terrifying flames burning in Blaze's eyes. Blaze's current condition was in line with Flame King's title. <laughs> Is the Marshal King and Flame King going to fight each other? This can cause one's blood to boil. However, my opponent is not you guys. It's this young man called Maximus. <laughs> I've heard that you have the strength to defeat the number two genius on the holy list. I can't accept it. You're just an 11 star internal strength base. Isn't that a bit too arrogant? The person speaking now was dressed in a tight blue suit. His hair was in the shape of waves but his face appeared extremely young and tender. It was the famous baby-faced sea king of the Northern University inner courtyard house. A purple-haired man laughed and came over saying, Had me in. I also want to see just what kind of strength this Maximus has that he arrogantly claims to be able to occupy the second position on the holy list. That's right, and me. I'll join in as well. Flame King looked at the three of them coldly. Scorpion King. Snake King, Star King. In the blink of an eye, the five kings stood in a row, confronting Maximus and Flame King. Waves of killing intent rippled in all directions. Both sides were confronting each other, but no one made the first move. In this confrontation, countless experts had arrived. These experts were either first-rated late heavenly rank experts or holy list experts. However, these holy list experts were all existences that were extremely far behind and couldn't be compared to the five kings before them. Gordon was shockingly hidden within the crowd. 
These guys, they know there's something wrong with the rumors, but they still take the initiative to be used as guns. They're idiots. Flame King cursed in his heart. Although he was ranked among the top of the holy list, he was only ranked fifth. As for the Martial King, he was truly ranked second. Maximus was extremely close to Blaze, so he could naturally hear this muttering clearly. His eyes darkened. These guys are all experts on the holy list. How could they be idiots? They are clearly aware of the problem, yet they still attacked? I'm afraid they're really dissatisfied with me. Right. These people have worked so hard to become experts on the holy list, and they attained their current rank step by step on the holy list. I was only at the intermediate heavenly rank a year ago, and I defeated Gordon as soon as I returned. Also, because of the rumors, how could these people who have climbed up step by step be sincerely convinced of me? Back then, Julie also faced a lot of challenges before she was able to completely stabilize her position as the number one on the holy list. Since that's the case, let's fight it out. It's fine if that Lion King doesn't come out, but once he does, I won't be able to hold my position as the seventh on the semi-holy list. Maximus looked at the five people in front of him. The Martial King, Sea King, Scorpion King, and Star King were all existences that were ranked high or above on the holy list. The Star King was ranked 16th on the holy list. The Snake King was ranked 10th. The Scorpion King was ranked 8th, the Sea King was ranked 4th, and the Martial King was ranked 2nd. These five experts all possessed powerful bloodlines, and none of them were below the heavenly rank. The Martial King possessed the Martial King bloodline, the Sea King's bloodline, the Scorpion King's Scorpion bloodline, the Snake King's Snake bloodline, and the Star King's Star bloodline. Among them, the Martial King bloodline of Martial King was at the middle and upper stage of the elementary holy rank bloodline such a bloodline was one of the best in the entire inner courtyard house of Northern University. There were only a few bloodlines above the low rank, holy rank in the inner courtyard house. With the bloodline of a martial king, as long as the internal strength base reached the 12 star, it would have the ability to fight against an ordinary semi-holy expert. If it advanced to the semi-holy realm, its strength would be greatly enhanced, just like Lion King's. The arrival of many experts caused the scene to become chaotic. Many who knew each other started discussing amongst themselves. Well, Marshal King, Sea King, Scorpion King, Snake King, and Star King. I never thought that these five kings would come to challenge Maximus. This time, Maximus is in danger. I wonder how many people he'll be able to defend against. The Marshal King and the Sea King are both in the top five. Both the Scorpion King and the Snake King are in the top ten. Judging from the fact that Maximus defeated Gordon in a second, I estimate that he'll only be able to fight against the Star King. My guess is that he will soon be defeated by the top four kings. Doesn't Maximus have Flame King's help? He might not lose so quickly. Huh, <laughs> Flame King is only fifth place. How long can he last against the second and fourth place? Anyway, I don't think Maximus will win. If we wait another year or two, perhaps it will be all right. Forget it. It's useless for us to continue discussing. Let's just continue watching. Flame King looked at the Martial King and the Sea King. Martial King, Sea King, how about I exchange a few blows with you two first? Flame King was secretly complaining in his heart. Initially, he thought those who came to find trouble with Maximus would only end up as 8th or ninth ranking people. Who would have thought that even the second and fourth ranked geniuses would come? Thinking of Serafina, Flame King gritted his teeth in his heart. Even if he was seriously injured, he still had to fight them. But at this moment, Maximus stretched out his hand to stop Flame King. Big Brother Blaze, since these people are looking for me, I will naturally fight them. Flame King frowned. He said, Maximus, you have to think this through. They are not weak. Maximus smiled faintly. Brother Blaze, don't underestimate me. Flame King thought of Maximus's super strong combat strength, which far exceeded the internal strength base realm, and fell silent. Even though Maximus was currently at the peak of 11 star, the fact that he could increase his combat strength by a large margin might not be applicable in this case. But since Maximus said so, Flame King did not want to give Maximus a blow. Blaze thought in his heart that Maximus was still too young that he always thinks that he's strong. However, these experts on the holy list, especially those ranked at the front, there were no simple people. Finally, he figured it out. He'd just let this kid suffer a bit before making a move. 
When these guys got angry, they probably wouldn't be willing to be used as guns anymore. Thinking of this, Flame King took a step back. Maximus looked at the five kings. Which one of you will attack first? Star King stood out with a sneer. Let me experience your ultimate move. You go first, Maximus said quietly. Sixteen people were still not worthy of his attention. Star King was so angry that he started laughing. Was he looking down on him? As expected, arrogant. The Martial King and the other Holy List experts frowned. Even Flame King was surprised by Maximus's arrogance, not to mention the surrounding students. Star King laughed coldly. He said, Since you're so arrogant, then prepare to receive the attack. Despite his words, Star King didn't really look down on Maximus. His first move was the ultimate move. Even Gordon, who was a heavenly rank, had been easily defeated. If he was careless, he would only follow in his footsteps. He said, Star Ocean Bloodline, condense! In an instant, dense starlight gathered and spread out like a wave toward the ocean. At this moment, Star King's internal strength base had surpassed the heavenly rank. Star Sea Wave! The waves of starlight were stronger than each other, and each wave was stronger than the last. The surging waves brought with them a dense starlight that wanted to devour Maximus. If the internal strength base and the explosive force of the Star King were calculated accurately, the internal strength base was about the same level as an early 13 star. Star King's Star Ocean bloodline was a beginner holy level bloodline. However, Star King's current grade clearly didn't display the full power of his bloodline. Otherwise, the internal strength base would be even stronger. The explosive force of a top heavenly rank, top quality martial arts skill like the Star Sea Wave was comparable to an intermediate and late 14 star martial arts skill. Maximus answered with, Skyfire Armor, Condense! Fusion! Skyfire Fist! He used each in succession, turning into a fire armor giant. The internal strength base had also surpassed the heavenly rank. Although Maximus said that he didn't care about Star King, he didn't dare to be careless. The Skyfire Fist merged with the milky white flame. The power of the peak of the 12th level of the Skyfire Fist had already surpassed the heavenly rank martial arts skill. By fusing with the milky white flame, the power was even stronger. If one had to make a precise distinction, Maximus's current explosive power was more than a 15 star, which was between 15 and 16 stars. The milky white giant flaming fist descended like a sun in the sea of stars. The scorching temperature directly twisted the waves into a whirlpool of water. Along with the increase in temperature, the waves were vaporized. What? The expressions of the many experts who saw this scene changed in shock. Not only that, after evaporating the waves of starlight, the giant flaming fish shrank like a cannonball, smashing straight toward the Star King. Damn it! Star King was shocked. He hurriedly activated the galaxy true essence to form a starlight barrier. However, facing the giant flaming fist, the starlight barrier shattered in the blink of an eye. Star King spat out a mouthful of blood and flew backward in a sorry state. The surroundings were silent. Instant defeat. It was actually an instant defeat. The dignified Star King, a great expert ranked 16th on the holy list, actually lost in a single move. This Maximus was actually this terrifying and powerful. The numerous martial artists all sucked in a gasp of air. This was truly unbelievable.